This is activity 2.1.2, Mass Properties Analysis. Let's scroll down to the first model that we have to draw in Fusion 360. It's called the slotted angle block. To begin with, make sure that your units is set to inches. And let's start by creating a new component. Change the name of the component to slotted angle block. Click OK. And then select create sketch and select the right plane. Select two point rectangle. Start at the origin, click and then drag and then click. Now select the sketch dimension. And as you can see here, the depth of the slotted angle block is 2.75. So click, drag, type 2.75. And then the overall height is 1.75. So click, drag, 1.75. And as you can see, all our lines are black, which means this sketch is fully constrained already. So finish your sketch. And let's continue with an extrusion. So click on the shape that we are going to extrude and drag, or you could just type the distance. And the total length of our angled block is 5.125. So type 5.125 and then click OK. Next, we are going to create the slot that goes through the middle. So click Create Sketch. And then click on the right side, select the two point rectangle and start by drawing your rectangle from the top edge going down. And let's um, add the dimensions. The dimension, the height of that slot is 0.75. So click and drag type 0.75. And then the depth of that slot is 0.625. Click and drag and then type 0.625. And now we need to center the slot because it says here slot is centered on the part. Let's click on the left edge of the block and click on the left edge of the slot that we're making. And click once more. And we are going to put a formula to figure this out. So we type parentheses. We're going to add the total depth of the block, which is 2.75. Subtract it with the depth of the slot, which is 0.625. Close the parentheses. Divided by 2 to center it. And as you can see, what happened is that the slot got centered in the block. And uh, all of the lines now are fully constrained. So finish the sketch, click on Home, and Extrude. And then for Extrusion, we want to Extend Type is Through All. And then we want to flip the direction. Or you could also drag that arrow to the opposite direction. Make sure, sure that operation is cut and then click OK. All right. OK, now it's time for us to put the chamfer. So I click Modify and then Chamfer. And for the chamfer type, we are going to use Distance and Angle. Because it says here, number two, it says that all chamfers are 45 degrees. And then if we look here, front and the back chamfer is around 0.75 from the top going down. Uh, how do I know that? Because the overall height is 1.75. And if I subtract 1, that means the height of the chamfer, it goes down by 0.75. So I click on the front edge 
and the back edge. And then I put 0.75 for my height. And then I leave 45 degrees for my angle. So I click OK. Next, I'll add two chamfers, one on the right side and then one on the left side. So I click chamfer once more and I click here. One, two, three, four. So a total of four edges were selected. And then this time, this chamfer goes down by not 0.75, but one inch. And how do I know that? If I look here at the back, I mentioned it says here 0.75. Therefore, from that point up is one inch. So I type one inch and the degree is still 45. So I click OK. And as you can see, I already have the same model that you see here in the assignment. So the only thing left to do is that this slotted angle block is made up of mild steel or steel mild as mentioned here. So let's go save our work first and name it the same one. Uh, let's name it slotted angle block. Hit save. And then let's right click on the slotted angle block and click physical uh, material. And then under physical material, let's go to metal and scroll down where it says steel mild. So it's this one right here. So I click it and then I drag it to the model. And now this model, we've assigned a material to this model. It's now mild steel. How do I know that it's mild steel now? So I right click on it and click properties. And it says here, the component is a slotted angle block and the material name is steel mild. And then if I go under physical, it now gives me the mass, the volume, the density, the area, the center of mass of this drawing or of this uh, model. And part of the thing that you have to fill out on this worksheet is what is the density? What is the mass? What is the volume? What is the surface area of this model? Okay, so write all these numbers and put it into your worksheet. And then don't forget to save your work once more.